Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Seekin and I'm back with yet another video. Today we got two things, two sneaker pickups today. So let's get right into it, guys. All right, so I haven't really picked up anything from Nike.com in a long time. Honestly, I kind of forgot the whole format and everything. And I've been really scared to ever use that sneakers thing, the sneakers app. I just think that sounds super dumb. So never really done it. And I I probably will do it eventually one day, but I'm trying to put it off as much as I can. Um, so these were easy to get shoes. Uh, both pretty cheap too. So definitely check them out if you can. And if you like these after seeing them. Alright, and I kind of fooled you guys on this. They're not really Nike shoes. They're Converse. And I actually, um, I was just talking about this, that I never had a pair of Converse. Um, at least in my collection right now I don't. I might have when I was younger, but I can't think of one that I had. Other than, actually, the Dwayne Wade Converse. I had those. Those were sick back in the day. If they retro those, I'd buy those in a heartbeat. But yeah, um... These, I'll just show you guys. Uh, this is a model you may or may not be familiar with. And, bub bang. So these are the Converse Cons One Stars. And um, this is a shoe that Tyler the Creator's been wearing a lot lately. Um, so yeah, I was checking them out. I was trying to find a couple pairs for cheap. Um, and yeah, Nike.com actually ended up having a bunch. I was trying to find like, uh, boutiques and stuff, but then ended up being the source that makes them actually has really cheap prices. And the great thing about these is they're only like these colorways were on sale for only 50 bucks and they got really nice suede on them. And they got the lunar insole that is just like they basically revamped these like they did with the Chuck 2 um, from the Chuck Taylor. They did like the same things basically. Um, and yeah, it's just a different look of a Chuck Taylor, I guess you could say. Um, I think this is going to be a little bit more comfortable. It has a little bit more structure to it too, obviously. And then it has the star on the front there, which I think is really cool. Um, it's just a different look for a Converse shoe in general. Yeah, and this is the polar colorway if you wanted to know as well. It's like a really light blue. Got an 11 and a half. It said go a half a size down on Nike, but it said go half a size down on Chuck Taylors and everybody knows you go full size down. So I don't know how these are gonna fit. And this one's a little bit more of the same we got here. We got the tan one. Yeah, this one's pretty sick. I don't really have too many tan shoes uh, other than the Yeezys I have. And I think I have one more tan shoe, um, but it's not like full on tan, the Sauconies. And yeah, this is a full on dark tan. It's like a khaki color. And yeah, same shoe. Um, I really like these two though. Um, yeah, I feel like this is a color that can go with anything, so try to do that. And then this one is a more summery vibe to it. I really like that. I thought I could wear this in the summer a lot more, um, which was another plus to them. But yeah, I'm really excited to wear these. I'm interested to see how these hold up and if how they fit. Um, that will be really interesting. Uh, let me know what you guys think of these two pickups, guys. Uh, let me know what color you think is cooler, too, the polar or the khaki color. And yeah. This is Seekun. Please subscribe and please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, guys. And like I said, this is Seekun, and I'm out, guys. Peace.